Ladies and gents, boys and girls, what's going on? I am back with another video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, this is an update about the the plumber guy, you know. And, you know, I want to extend my, uh, you know, apologies. I had to, I want to apologize not only because of the fact that you know, I, I made a video. I Me personally, I didn't make a video directly about him. I reacted to videos that were already posted on, the, uh, you know, on YouTube, which makes it worse, too, because the, the person that initiated it would be MTR. And we also have to hold MTR accountable. He has to hold himself accountable as well. If he's wrong, he has to say that he's wrong. Right. But I'm also wrong because I was also the one that reacted to, you know, his videos and that put that keep pushing it out. But the guy has a va valid reason as to why he didn't provide proof. And I'm going to tell you guys this right now. The reason that he didn't provide proof was because he's, he's going through something right now with his job. And y'all know how it is right now. This is the cancel culture let's say he let us know who he worked for because one of the things they said was oh you might not work anywhere because you're not telling us who you work for so he said he was going through something right now because he got fired and you know they, they're they talking about uh is it person a perseverance pay or some shit like that now if he mentioned the name of the company, if he let us know who the company is, we all know that women and other people online will call that job, leave a bad review, which then prompt the job to go and file for bankruptcy. And that's how jobs get closed. That's how people get fired. That's, that's how people lose their job. And so listen to what he's saying. When he does happen to sue him, what if he is telling the truth and his company does sue him and this mother since he's a ninja turtle, he does have to sleep in the sewer. Which means because initially y'all know that, you know, all this happened because the women got pissed off because he rejected them, right? The way that he's the way that he rejected them on that show, that actually stretches all the way to here. And that and it's crazy because he went on a dating show. After telling the women, okay, well, you're not qualified, you're not this, you're not that, which I don't see nothing wrong with it. But the women, they feel some type of way, they decided to ruin his life. And we, us black men, we are helping these women doing that. Just like if a white woman called the police and say, oh, this black man raped me. And we all know white women love lying, even black women as well. But we all know women love lying. So... What the police would end up doing is they don't they don't they're not going to hear your proof or see your proof. They're not they're not going to hear your side. They're just going to take you, send you to jail. That is exactly what we black men doing. Him, MTR, me, and a bunch of other black men and black women. That's what we're doing right now. We're just listening to what MTR had put out there without really, you know, wait without waiting for what he, meaning the plumber guy, had said because he said, I'm, I'm going to through some things right now. I can't really give you a lot of information. If we would have waited, we probably didn't know the actual facts because we've been rushing to put the, you know, to, to, to put that, video out because we know that it's fire and it's going to get traction and traffic we did just that and so now he's looking bad out here on the internet and we're helping the women as black men that's a shame i took for hey listen i took full accountability for it for, for it you know because I, I because i helped pushing you know the content out as well because i have a platform and i I ask and sincerely, I, I apologize to uh, to this man. We even went as far as 
doing a background check on that man to see what the man had done 15 years ago, 20 years ago. His, his ex went on TikTok, make videos about him. Because guess what? She wanted to get the creative fund. So how else she going to do it? By bringing drama to the platform. So she brought the drama to the platform. And notice she kept mentioning, oh, well, I am his ex. I am his ex. I am his ex. So then what TikTok will do, TikTok will push that, you know, content out. And so she's able to, uh, you know, mess up, a mess like, a shitload of uh, subscribers or followers on uh, on TikTok to now she's getting paid on TikTok because she now have a following based off putting videos out about this guy, exposing this guy, exposing him. So we all play a part on on making this uh, his life miserable. We all. So, with that being said, I'm going to post some facts and proof out here and show y'all the guy was actually correct. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to show you how I'm wrong, how MTR is wrong, how we are all, all of us are wrong. Let's keep going. Are you going to come and rescue me? No, you guys are going to be laughing, talking about me, talking about now... He, he's, he's homeless. Now he doesn't have anything. You know, trying to paint me out to be a scammer just because I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm ignorant of the law. I do not know. The only reason why you're not giving the information about the job is because you are currently in a K or a, a legal negotiation. negotiation with the said job. After the separation. Yes. Right. Yes. Severance and it's well. called severance pay. And again, so I live in a... And I'm not using this as no excuse. Bro, you guys are so <laughs> investigators. I live in an at-will state. Do you know yes. what that means? That means they do not have to have any reason to terminate your employment. That's and right. Another That's right. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now he's learning about it. Probably the lawyer is not give, telling him a lot more information that he probably didn't have no idea about. Wow. The thing is, too, you guys, I am a convicted felon. Okay? I am a convicted felon. Hello, I'm not even supposed to be having these types of jobs. You guys are blowing this up so much to the point I'm not even going to be able to return back to the field. He's right mm -hmm. again. In totality with the other information that is coming out and will come out about you and your lifestyle is way more damning. It's way more ridiculous than I could have ever imagined. And what I thought was going to turn into a way to advocate for a man that was unjustly treated because of his presence on a game show has now turned into somehow you becoming the victim once asked to prove your particular situation. See, a man he of integrity and truth would jump at the opportunity to show me the evidence but this is not how you're choosing to move therefore i sense deception in our interview where you told us about your birthday weekend coming up and you told us that you were turn you were having your birthday weekend coming up and you had already reserved your spot and you were going to go out and celebrate now yes. that interview came out before the gofundme thing even was established so when we saw the clip of Abba and Preach and we saw MTR say you were using the GoFundMe money, using the GoFundMe money, you're a scammer, it clicked with us because we were like, no, he was already mentioning this birthday situation way before, before. the GoFundMe even became a thing. Wow. Like, so the video that we saw of him throwing the money So the video of us seeing that on his Instagram of him throwing the money, that, that that's his money. The GoFundMe page wasn't even up then. Oh, wow. Man, we are, uh, oh my gosh, we're messed up. Remember him specifically talking about his plans was he was going to celebrate his birthday and he had already had 
his plans and everything invested invested at the amount he already put on the put yeah. down on it and who are you to tell a man what to do with his hard earned money, money right. true again that's why we all oh got we failed Fuck. we failed so hard oh god well we look bad we we look bad like, not the audience us mtr o'shea queen accountability mcqueen night talk all of us we look bad alvin preach we all look bad listen man i listen i take i take the, i i hold myself accountable I hold myself accountable. MTR. Nigga, you the first one that put that, uh, you know, uh, in interview out there. And you the first one to show proof, DMs. And because you, because he didn't get back to you fast enough, you thought that he was lying. Or maybe he didn't... Maybe he didn't have the proof. But really, he was just, he wasn't able to talk because the lawyers probably tell him, well, you know, you can't, you, can, you can't talk about that. You know, it's, oh my gosh, we messed up. Let's keep going, man. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah. I can see why MT, MTR is taking this stance because I did see that when he um, went on the against Abba and preached to, address and say like no this was addressed in the interview and the album and preach video came out i will admit um mt mtr was facing heavy backlash because i was in the live stream see now this is the toughest part about being a content creator yeah once you meet once you make content you have to be able to stand on that content exactly and believe in that content and i get it I get it. Everyone's looking at you like, yo, you don't let the scammer on. What's going on? You can already use your stuff. But at the same time, we also have to be mindful of the people that we interview too. It was it was really, really bad backlash to the point where um, if I was him in this situation and this was my living, I think I would also have to, you know, try to, you know, um, what is it? Uh, put out some of the fires before they spread too fast. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I felt maybe this was urgency that he felt like he needed to address it like this. Exactly. Your urgency is not more important than he is because he don't have a job no more. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The urgency because because it was again the answer that he needed fast enough to convince his audience. Oh, fuck. And you're wanting me to secure your job by taking away my severance pay. That's what you're asking for him to do, to sacrifice his money that he's supposed to be getting because your audience don't like what's happening. Exactly. That's why this is, it's not a fair situation you're putting him in. I know that this man has been going. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Now, nah, bro, this is, uh, what what is this uh, lady name again? Uh, Miss of accountability or some shit like that. So she did her, based off what she said, she did a bunch of, you know, uh, research about him and, you know, the queen of accountability. That's what it is. The queen of accountability. That's her name. And she said she did a bunch of, re a bunch of research about this guy and she can find this, 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 this information. She can find this information, that information. Ooh, so then that that make that made this whole thing more believable because she's i can't point but she's because she said something she has said that she knew what's going on she had called the offices and the offices say oh oh we don't know who that is oh we see what I'm saying? Oh, man viral all over social media and everyone heard this story about him getting fired after doing the dating show that they felt inclined to donate money and continue to make him more viral than, you know, than he was at the moment. Right. Mm -hmm. I did not talk about it initially because I wanted to investigate before I started to support someone who's telling us a story that is so believable that mm -hmm. you want to donate. Where did the GoFundMe come from? Can you explain what led to the start of this GoFundMe and what was the purpose of the GoFundMe? 
thus far? Like, what was the like? Give me the give me the details of what happened. You know, after after I lost my job, I had support regardless. Even regardless, I had support because of course, of course, you, of course, you should have gotten support, or you you would have gotten support because you didn't do anything wrong. All you tell the bros was fuck off. That's all you did. So I don't see why you wouldn't. Maybe I'll just donate tonight too. Maybe I'll go actually, but I want the I want the thing to go to him, not to anyone else. So I'm probably not going to donate. My bad. But if if it was going to him personally, yes, I probably would just donate. But he lost his job because of what he said to the women. That's crazy. Let's keep going. Because the men feel like, you know, I represented manhood on the game show. A lot of men felt like I was not being disrespectful. I was being a man. Right. So I had their support. Right. You know, I had a, a, mess. a man send me $500 yesterday just because he had support. You know, he supported the way I conducted myself on the show, right. like a man. Okay, so the fans, because that's what they call themselves. If you look closely, they call themselves my fans. They told me to create a GoFundMe because they wanted to support what I've been doing. Yes, I have done free plumbing jobs. Yes, I have been speaking to at-risk youth. Yes, I did start to go fund me so I can do humanitarian work and possibly create content. And I do want to create content now. Now with the humanitarian work, now we're going to show the receipts. Now, I have been posting on the Nextdoor app, marketing myself to do free services for single mothers, single fathers, for those on disability because Plumbing is expensive. It is. You know, if you ever call the plumbing is. company, you know these companies charge $125 an hour plus. Exactly. You think I'm joking? Call a plumber. So I have done a lot of wrong in my life, you know, but at when I do plumbing and I, I repair somebody's fixture or I install a water heater or, you know, they got a clog and I, 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 I fix their clog. And I see that satisfaction on their face. To me, that is like a badge of honor. All right, he okay. Technically, what I think I'm getting from him is this: when he said he's doing that type of work, what he's just saying is he's doing it for free. Like even with Queen Accountability, try to say, "Oh yeah, show us how can we tell if you're doing this? Right. It's for free. It's free." What you're asking me to do is to be the person running around posting everything I do for free. Right. It's like you're asking me to be the guy who posts videos of him giving homeless people money when everybody say that that person is doing that strictly for clout. So you're now asking him to be the person who do the thing for clout, right, which right, is right, contradicting. Right, 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 right. That's what I got from that part. Right, right, Give y'all right. the evidence, make y'all judgment based off of what y'all see, not by what y'all are just simply hearing. So go ahead, Aaron, go ahead, do your thing. Now, this is me on the next door app. I am one of few licensed journeyman plumbers trying to provide free plumbing services. There we have it. We have some evidence, some proof. And I agree. It sucks the fact that in these days and these times where you used to be able to do stuff discreetly without people knowing, you actually got to have the camera, the microphone, the entourage, and everyone sitting around you just to prove that you did it. Again, this was 16 weeks ago. For Army veterans and those that are disabled on a discretionary case-by-case -case evaluation and reduced pricing, saving homeowners thousands. And these contractors think I'm stupid and I don't know the law. Um, they're trying to get me in trouble for a good deed. I just hate how a company I was working for would charge elderly people thousands for a simple task. So I decided to use my skills to help those in need. 
I am trying to provide a service so I can get my master plumber license and become a contractor too. But of course, they don't want to see that happen. It's hard enough being a black man in this trade, but this is disgusting. How greedy can you possibly be? These contractors, owners of these companies make $30,000 a day plus at a bare minimum, and that's a slow day. It's just ridiculous, but you won't stop me. I'm too smart. I'm going to keep doing good deeds no matter how many times you try to stop me. There goes 24 likes, okay? Now let's continue on. I don't do... Um, now, once again, we don't know how, we don't know how journeymen plumbers do. We don't know how plumbers and all that stuff. He knows these things. Based on what I found out he is can, yeah. that, hell, there's a lot of these places you don't even need licenses. All, All right. you need is the experience. It's you experience. need four years of experience. That is true because, is because I will tell you this, that is true because I went to a school and I went to plumbing school. We didn't have a license. We didn't have a license. We were working on a million dollar house. Facts. Be but because we know the trade, they were able to trust the company that sent us out there. Damn, man. Black people, man, we, but we, we effed up on that. We effed up bad. Nah. Because I could, I know the type of guy that I am. I am, I am an outlaw. So it, if I ever went to jail for some shit, I know the type of guy that I am. If I were to ever go to jail and that were to become my life and I'm trying to do something for myself quietly and then somehow, boom, I get this massive amount of clout. I don't know how to deal with it. I'm trying to stay quiet. I'm already a felon. I, I, I'm already this. I'm already that. You see what I'm saying? Oh man, 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 man! I feel for this guy, bro. I, 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 mm, I feel for him. I feel for him. This is some deep stuff. Any humanitarian work, allegedly. Um, my buddy and I are both licensed journeyman plumbers. Work that he's he's being praised for. I'm sure a veteran or a single father or a single mother or a disabled person would have said, "Hey, this man helped us in our time of need." But I didn't see not one receipt. So we know that a lot of his exes came out and they gave us a little bit of tea and that helped me to do more research on him. When I did a check on Mr. Sloan, I didn't see a license on file that's connected to his information. And being in education over 11 years, we know all about education. It's linked to your social. If you got a license, if you got a degree, it's going to pull up in any background check. Uh, Don't see one from really. Mr. Sloan. Oh, yeah? Never really. even so, 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 so you're saying if you're certified, it's easy to find these th things. It's like probably like a database that you can go into. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's only, she kind of right though. If you, if, if you are registered with, with, with your state you could have a you could have, you could be certified plumber or electrical dude and you know what you're doing but it's at the level of who certified you you got me all right so let's say for for for, for instance I go to school to become a plumber the school knows that I could do the job the school knows me. I could go to another I could go to another person's house in the school bus and do the job. But the state doesn't know that. The state doesn't know that I, I'm able to do the job. Y'all get y'all get what I'm saying? Do y'all get what I'm saying though? So with that being said, it's 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 who certified you. And you know. Oh man, he's getting it. He's getting, he's getting beat. He's getting beat. He's getting beat. Oh my gosh, we messed up, man. We messed up bad. Because I do understand what he's saying though, but I didn't go as far when I was watching the the, uh, the initial interviews. I didn't go as far. Otherwise, I probably would have make a video the same day and put it out there. Assure that he's certified. Is that what you mean? That is correct, MTL. So. And I know this. Listen, I'm going to keep saying this. We dislike 
scammers. So of course, we're always trying to prove that someone is not scamming us. But this one right here, it seems to me with the proof that's being showed that you dropped the ball on this one. It doesn't seem like this was Rhoda. It doesn't seem like this was the brick lady. This is just yeah. the plumber. Yeah, you're right. You're Aaron, right. the plumber. You see what that says? That right there. So off of what he said, he said he wants to be a journeyman. Well, he is a journeyman, and he's trying to be a certified license. And when 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 he says certified license, that's certified through his state. The state knows him, or the city knows him. So I think this is this. I think this is only for the city though. Or you work under a company. You work under a company. But if you are a certified plumber, that means you could do the job. You don't have to be under a company. Or uh, you could actually start your own own uh, plumbing company. I didn't think... Man, why did not think... I, I know all these things. Because I used to do plumbing shit. Why did not think of that? But I mean, it's been it's been a few years, though. It's been a few years. It's been like a good... Eight years since I haven't done no plumbing. Oh my God, man! I feel I I honestly feel disgusted because I didn't see nothing. I should have just I should have just I, I but 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 then again, you know, I didn't want to just go ahead and stand up for somebody that I didn't know what they're doing. And see what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I see where I'm at. So really, it's not my fault. I just yeah. I guess I guess that that's what it is, huh? It was one that I didn't believe was a real thing until I realized that I don't know what the hell I'm talking about when it comes to licenses. I don't know what it, I don't know. I don't know how these bitches supposed to look. So I was being overly confident by I messed up. It was me who messed up. And then if you go on Instagram to Queen Accountability, she posted it and I'm letting you right now it was real. This thing is real. So he actually has it. Journeyman license. Aaron Journeyman. Hello. That's all I got to say. Now I'm not a licensed plumber. Now, now what? Okay, let's go. Mm, okay. And then again, and then so they can't say, you know, um, I printed this out or something. You know, if I had to go get the letter where I got approved to get my license, and I will do that. But also, what I didn't know nothing about this. You know, kites contacted me and they told me about all that um, about this video that was just uploaded that we're reacting to now. And I instantly pulled out my card. Did I not pull out my card right out my wallet within seconds and was like, here it is. Yeah, and I also know the expiration date on there. I won't give the exact, but it expires in 27, the year 2027. So yep. um, we did see the front, we saw the back. We also saw um, some other thing that goes with it to prove its validity. Um, that's all we can say about it. Again, we just, we can only tell you guys what we know, and I'm not going to sit here and lie and say he didn't show us it. So there you guys go. So, um, you're not going to see it on your screen, Aaron, but, um, so we, we see here, it has the business ID. It says entity efficient plumbing LLC. It says status active, standing good entity type state. Uh, any entity type and state of domicile is domestic limited liability company, state um, of incorporation, New Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he looks like he scrolled down a little bit more so he can show everybody. Aaron Trevon yeah. Sloan, senior, and the address, of course, is blurred out for his safety. And yep, organizer information, all that. So they looked up the wrong area. She you want me to tell you there we have it <sighs> mtr you need to nigga you need you need to make a video asap apologizing to this man I'm going to say it again. MTR, a bot and preach. 
Is it ABBA impeach? MTR and ABBA impeach. Y'all niggas need to make a video ASAP. Apologizing to this man. And what's the other broad name again? What's the other broad name again? Uh, the queen of accountability. You need to make a motherfucking video right now. And apologizing to the man. Aaron. I apologize. This is my fault. Seems to saying that I kept... I, I never, I never did an interview with you. Um, I would love to. I did hit you up. I didn't get a response back. If you did a video, if if you did an interview with me, it probably wouldn't go that that way because I do have patience. I give people their leeway. See what I'm saying? YouTube doesn't. I'm. I, I'm. I, I don't. Contrary to uh, you know. Uh, MTR, that's his job. That's how he makes his money. So he has to post. Me, I do have an actual nine to five. I have a career. So YouTube doesn't really pay all of my bills. You got me? So with that being said, I wouldn't really give a shit about that. I probably would just let you take however long that you wanted to. But MTR is rushing it. And so hence the reason why we are where we are right now. Or even or even let's take it back to like the very first time. A man that goes on a dating show shouldn't be getting tracked, doxxed because of what he tells women. And he wasn't being disrespectful. So many times that we letting the women have us do dumb shit. It's these women that, that have us do that. But us men, we care more about the country. I ain't going to lie. And that's why. I apologize, my brother. See what I'm saying? I take full accountability. I take full accountability for it. I'm sorry again. I apologize. This is a lesson learned. I won't ever post post something without double checking or get the actual facts. I mean, I usually I I usually do. But in my defense, I'm going to say this. I only reacted to the videos that I got sent to react to. But yeah, I'm still I'm still I'm still there. I still I still feel that you know, I was part of it, and I want to apologize fully, man. I, I'm not. I'm not going to lie to you. My apologies, brother. That's all I want to say. So, with that being said, I want you guys to go under MTR comment section, Instagram or YouTube. Abba and preach. Instagram. In YouTube, who else? This guy that we, this guy that we've been watching. See what I'm saying? Him. I don't know who. Him. Y'all need to go under his comments. Instagram. Well, actually no, because he he just apologized. This is his apology. So, good. This is my apology today. I apologize once again. I will do better next time. As a black man, I should have. But I will do better next time. All right, man. Man, let's let, let's clap for this. Let's clap for this guy, bro. Let's clap for the let's clap for the plumber, man. Let's clap for the plumber. Let's clap for the plumber. You know, he was in jail. He made he he did something. You know, he didn't want to be doing BS no more. He actually worked on himself. He actually did what he supposed to do, and he's actually looking for a wife. That's it. He was doing his he was doing what he supposed to do. He was getting to the bag and all all he wanted was a wife and kids. Man, I feel bad.
Yeah, man. Please like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, I appreciate y'all.